What's up? Welcome to another episode of What's the 411? I'm your girl, Cannon Hunter. And I'm your girl, the real <laughs> HBIC, Cyan Taylor, baby. Actually, the real HBIC would be me. No, but, you no, know, you need to quit. Cyan always wants to be like me. It's oh just like goodness. another story. Never in a never million admit. years, but we're going to ditch those side <laughs> comments. Because I'm the best. Oh, my goodness. <laughs> no. Be to the O dub, you right if your girl fall in love with smiling type of little guy. You ain't seen in a while, know what's hype. Right, right for your time. Or something like that. And I don't know what it is. Yeah. Little Bow Wow, of course, my man. I used to love this man. I'm telling you when he I was little. Rolls yes, little was bow wow. Not this shod must. We play in there. Thank you. Bye. Thank you, Cannon. He took the L this week to me, personally. To the whole world. Yes. He took to Instagram, for all of you that don't know about this story, and posted this picture of him ultimately getting ready to board a private jet. He was definitely stunting and flexing. Frontin front like no this is a no flex zone mr bow wow he said travel day new york press run for growing up hip-hop let's go i promise to bring y'all the hottest show ever may 25th on week tv people saw this i'm sure everybody's like oh bow wow man he, he got, got that, that money, money. i need to get on his tip yes uh he was later seen on a commercial airline sitting Chilling on his phone. I will say though, it does look like he's in first class, so it's not like he's like in economy like us regular folk. Yeah, it could be that. So of course, Bow Wow got dragged. Do yeah. you think he was wrong for this? For I front mean, of the gram? I just feel like the whole rap culture and just like being a regular person, like it's hard out here for a pimp. You know, like you gotta pretend like you got some, even though you really don't got some, or you just trying to save money. Like maybe he's just trying to save money but it's like he's a part of the rap game he's a part of that whatever game he's like yo i need to bring it like i'm yo. still got the money that i had when i was freaking 14 years old even though i don't because i spent it all when i was 16 going up in the club we yeah. remember that song true what was that song let's get down was that it let's get down it's really really nice, nice to, to meet you man <laughs> yo he only has a net worth of 1.5 million dollars according to google Granted, that is more than how much we have. I so know. So we're not shading anybody here. No, we're <laughs> definitely not shading him. Of course, Twitter does what Twitter does best. Straight up drag people through the mud, baby. 50 Cent jumped in on the action. He said, blessed. My new ride at the car wash. <laughs> this one girl, I thought this one was really funny. She said, with my man, she was holding up a pair of jeans and had some... Some boots down on the floor. Just ordered room service. You got homie coming to the door with the, what is that? It looks like macaroni a chicken, and- a macaroni and burger? Chicken yeah. sandwich? Something going on there. That star actually looks pretty good. That looks like in and out sauce. Right. That one was pretty good. That one was really good. With the alcohols? Yes. Cause it does look like it's life size. But then wait till you see this one. This is says Bow Wow Challenge of the Day. Look, he got his his Lambo, he fly. Oh then he comes and pushes it on. That's crazy. Yeah. But you know, after all of this was done, Bow Wow came on Ebro's morning show. Okay, yeah. The troll himself. Yeah. Bow wow. Savage. Was on the program. Straight hey, savage. Man. He was on that PJ. He came here to yeah. New York hey, to do I, press. I, I took the Greyhound here this morning, man. Nah, nah, nah. Hey, look, off top, I love it because people don't understand the scientific method to my oh, madness. Yeah. What? I He's just saying they stuff. Really I can't with him. Number one, the science. I'm about to have relevant. the biggest yeah. show on We TV, Actually. period. Period. I'm saying that right now, period. First of all, we are less than what? How, when, it's the 25th, but we got two weeks away, right? And it's, you got to just watch the show. Everything is for the show. You got to just watch the show. Okay, so you're admitting that this was a troll. You got to watch the show. And I'm on the other side, Bow Wow, because you have posted money on the gram before. That's true. Yeah, yeah. I thought, I, I, like, yeah. No, no, I was I, like, I, no, that's but, my money, but not did you Bow see, Wow's but, money. Did you see yeah. the dude from Fake Watch Busters who, the guy that said that, that wasn't even his picture? No, I didn't see all that. And I never said, this is my money. I then put, why? 
Why are you posting pictures? That doesn't that make don't any sense. Really like to you, sir. He's just, like that. He's just saying that to deflect oh, he, it off no, of him. Oh, no, he technically could get yeah. sued if he, if someone nice wanted to take it to that level. Right. So That's my picture. You posted it on your gram. I didn't get any type of credit. He took my picture, but then come to find out, it wasn't even his picture. The original, it was never his picture. So I'm never going to say something is mine if it ain't mine. I think this was just another disaster. So we can now trust nothing on his Instagram now. Basically. Because we, it could not be his. True. Get some money. Up your money. Yes. Bow wow. That 1.5 million Actually is not flex. doing you justice. Actually flex. Yes. Please. Uh, Betsy DeVos was given an honorary degree at an HBCU. Yes. The school was, I don't know. Bethune-Cookman, down in Florida. Great place, institution. Shout out to the class of 2017. Yes. I definitely feel old because it's been and three years. And for going to an HBCU. Sometimes I wish I went to an HBCU. Yeah, no, most definitely. I really wanted to go to Spelman for like the longest time. Yeah. But regardless, the education secretary came to Bethune-Cookman. She was Why? Who knows, bruh? She's just trying to put on face to pretend like she down with the movement. She ain't down with nothing. Yes. Thank you so very, very much for this great honor and privilege. I am honored to become a wild I mean, she stepped on the mic and here yeah. comes all of the noise. I will be doing the exact same thing. Oh, yeah. And privilege. And then people got up out their seats to turn their backs. Yeah. In university class of 2017. To turn their backs. I feel like if I were her, I'd just run off crying. Their president went on to say that if the be behavior continues, that the degrees would be mailed to them. Yeah. And they kept going with it. Okay, they, first of all, aren't degrees mailed in the first place? Yeah, you're the, ours were mailed. Yeah, <laughs> we got them in the mail. It's not like they give it to you when you're up on stage. Unless it's like a really small school. Yeah. Went to think, a big school. But Thune Cookman may be pretty small. I'm not sh how sh how big it is, but I mean, yeah. like when we had our big graduation, we stood up, sat down, do our hats up if you wanted to, yeah. even though they told you not to because you knocked somebody in the face, you gave a handshake, and then that's that it. it. Like, yeah. bye, thank you, and here are your loans. Yeah. So <laughs> it's like this is these are these kids like one chance to graduate from college. You know, it's like you want to have a speaker that's representative of you. You know, I yeah. would do the exact same thing because. Who is this white lady that doesn't care about anybody except people who got money, you know? To come up on stage yeah. and ultimately deliver this, what's supposed to be a motivational speech. Mm -hmm. I was shocked that Bethune Cookman did this. Yeah. I thought, you know, maybe, you know, a more prominent leader in the African American community, mm -hmm. specifically Michelle Obama, because I wanted her for my graduation. But I feel like the Trump administration okay. or just whoever has a, have written that school a pretty check, a pretty penny check. Because I can only see money being the reason that they would bring her in. Yeah. Or be like, yeah, this is cool. Or two to save face because of the fact that, you know, this is a woman that's ultimately hated by the democracy coming into an African-American yeah. environment. And, yeah. you Pretend know. like they're, yeah. like they, they care. They don't care. No, they don't. So Simone Biles, the gymnast, gold medal gymnast, Olympic, Olympic gymnast, gold medal gymnast, uh, was criticized for not smiling um, on Dancing with the Stars. Mm -hmm. I was waiting for you to smile at some of the compliments. You didn't. Oh, <laughs> smiling doesn't win you gold medals. <laughs> she shut that down. Yeah. Yo. I feel like I don't know how to take this. Like, should I take this from a woman's standpoint or um, a black person's standpoint? But you know what I mean? It's like yeah. black people can't live. Black women can't live. Women can't live. You know what I mean? Yeah. Or black women can't live without smiling, without somebody thinking that, oh, oh something's, something's wrong. wrong. Or this is the angry black woman exactly. or something like that. And it's like, let her live. Yeah. Uh, when she's on the mat doing everything that she does with gymnastics. Yeah. Mm -hmm. She's got to she's thinking I got to nail this. Yeah. And so I could see how that, you know, 
that same like that determination yeah mentality is going to you know trickle over off into her dancing i don't think that she was wrong for not smiling yeah you know it's not that she hates this dance or anything like that and she definitely shouldn't get doc points for it yeah like we're here to see you dance not that we even watch the show but whatever no i'm not i don't i don't really watch dancing with the stars yeah but, but um, we were rooting for you, Simone. Yeah, I was rooting for Simone, show. and I was rooting for Grandpa, the old Cubs guy. Between oh. the two of them, David Ross. Yeah, she she's here to show you her skills, and she doesn't. If she doesn't want to smile, then yeah. she shouldn't have to smile. Yeah. So I thought that, that makes me want to like go through all the tapes and just point out every person. That should be a drinking game. You go through, you watch like the whole season of Dancing with the Stars and point out every white male that doesn't smile, smile. and take a shot. Sometimes I'm I'm in the club dancing and I probably a me mugging, but I'm feeling this, I'm feeling this beat. Yes, there it is, there it is. Like get it, you be trying to pop one leg. Uh, 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 Don't look at my uh, feet, they toe up. Wait, now I am smiling. <laughs> yes, girl. Yep. That's that. You ain't lying. That's that face. You ain't lying, girl. That smiling doesn't win you gold medal medals. Oh! oh! We've so all seen that video. Our god brother is in that clip. He's right? the one in the red. Someone wrote savage. And then my response to Simone Biles: amazing clap back. Smiling doesn't win you gold medals. Black <laughs> girl magic at its finest. I still hope she wins Dancing with the Stars. Me I too. don't think that anybody should dock her for not smiling. Um, Let her live. Even though some people will say, well, in dance, you're supposed to invoke yeah. emotion all through your body. Yeah. But it's like. In that sense, I do kind of get it. But at the same time, I'm just like. No. Definitely the not. The social justice warrior in me is just like, nah, bro. Yeah. That's not okay. Simone Biles, one point. Dancing with the Stars, zero. I am very excited. We've got a, a while for this. I think it's coming out soon. I think yeah. May 22nd. The Bachelorette's coming back with the black girl. Okay, yes. I do not know her name, and I am so sorry. but The I'm... season black people finally watched The yes. Bachelorette. The Bachelorette. I can't say that. Thank you, ABC. Finally. I'm so excited for this. Please take all our viewership money, because we will be watching. Yeah. yeah. Um, rest in peace to Big Black. Man. That was a shock to everyone. Unfortunately, he had passed away at the age of 45 from a heart attack. He's survived by um, his nine-year-old daughter and a wife. I mean, this came as a shock to everybody. Yeah. I feel like anytime someone passes, especially related to something like a heart attack or just whatever, I feel like it should be a wake-up call and a reminder to take care of your health, eat yeah. healthy, exercise, get moving. Like Because he was... 45. Yeah, yeah. And we want those memories with our loved ones. Yeah, and it's like so. you have so much time to live. Yeah. Uh, that was definitely, he was gone too soon. If you just soon. prioritize you, yeah. Yeah. Way too yeah. Soon. And that's a wrap. I'm your girl, Cyan Taylor. I'm your girl, Cannon Hunter. This has been an amazing week. We'll see you next Friday. I like that, girl. Be sure to like this video. Share it. Comment on some it something. Tell us what to talk about next week. I don't know. Right. Follow us on Twitter. And subscribe to us on Facebook and all our other channels. YouTube right here. Of course, we love you all. And we will see you next week with more tea. We're your girls. Peace. Love you. Yes. Bitch. Uh, yeah. Yes. So. Yes. Um, okay. Trying to get yes. in my way. I'm about to knock my computer over.